what's up? I'm Marty with nextlevelguitar.com. Uh, I'd like to show you um, some cool little groove R&B funk devices um, for rhythm um, that, that I've learned uh, along the way. And basically, this is something you can add to your basic seven chord, bar chord. So what I'm playing right here is an A7 chord. Standard issue, okay? Um, but I'm, what I'm doing is I'm adding just a couple of things to it, but you can still, a good way to, um, to approach this is to still just kind of think of it, you know, as revolving around this A7 bar chord. And what you do is we're just gonna add, you know, a little, uh, little seasoning around it, you know, a little Tabasco, maybe a little cheddar, some guac, whatever, okay? So uh, basically, we have this A7 chord, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take what you might have learned already, it's, it's actually one of the first uh, chords that a beginner would learn, is um, you know your standard D7 chord, which actually kinda just looks like an upside down D. Um, but you know, we take this D7 chord, and uh, something that's kind of cool, I'll, I'll approach it theoretically here just a little bit, if I take this little D7 chord and uh, only play uh, the notes that my fingers are on, if I scoot it up a whole step, it's now the notes of an E7 because it went up one step from D. So the next letter in the alphabet from D is E. So I've... It's not J? Well, there is the H chord. Right. But that's so advanced, I just wouldn't... Isn't that augmented? Yeah, I wouldn't want the camera to melt. All right. All right, so anyway, take the D7, move it up a whole step. Now it's an E7. Now in music, E to F is a half step. So if I move it up a half step, it's an, it's an F7, okay? Move it up another whole step, it's a G7. And after G, there is actually no H, sorry to disappoint. But uh, move it up another whole step, and now it's the three notes that we need for an A7, okay? Um, but if that was too much for you, we can just kind of look and see where, where we're playing it. And basically, you can just look at the ring finger is on the ninth fret. And yeah, I mean, even that chord alone in the blue is like. You know, you can just throw that in there. So anytime you have an A7, this little D7 shape is right there always. Okay, well, you know, something that's really cool is instead of you know, just playing that, I like to slide into it from a half step. So my ring finger of that little chord shape is now on the eighth fret, and I'm just gonna play it and then slide it just like that. Now I could take the regular A7 chord. Just like that. Now it's a whole new little, little shimmering, beautiful little morsel of sound that you can add right with that A7 chord. Okay, but something to kind of connect the two together that I like to do is I slide that up. But then what I do, instead of just going straight to the A7 chord, I actually, you can look at it as like a D bar chord. Basically my ring finger is covering on the seventh fret, the D string, G string, and B string. I hit that. And then I hammer on the notes of the A7 chord like this. Um, which, you know, we've heard that in a lot of songs. Yeah. Okay, but so when we combine them together, I think that's a lot more interesting than just you know now we have a little bit of spice and uh, if we you know want to approach it in a more funk style that was kind of bluesy but if we want to get more funky um, we can get um, this one one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a and 
and um, and kind of add that as. So basically, I'm going to just do little punches with the same concept with the one e and the two e and, but I'm going to mute it a lot in between. can also be thrown in when you're soloing too, which is kind of cool, like uh, if I'm jamming out. Once again, this was Marty with nextlevelguitar.com. Uh, come on by our site. We got uh, a lot more to check out. We've got funk, blues, rock, everything you need for your guitar necessities. Um, there's a lot to check out. And uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to be here and show you guys some of the stuff that I like to do. So thanks a lot.